Hi, first grade. We are here for another social science lesson. And for this social science lesson, you are going to need page 19. And page 19 is out of your life cycles packet, which is out of your social science units fourth quarter bag. Along with that, you are also going to need some colors, markers or crayons, scissors and glue. But before we get to that, we're going to read an awesome epic books. And this epic books is all about the difference between a moth and a butterfly. And there's some really great information in here and some really great text features too that help to show us those differences. So here we go. This is Butterflies and Moths by M.J. York. Chapter one. Fluttery bug. An insect flutters past. It lands on a flower. It has four wings. It has six legs. Antennae sprout from its head. Is it a butterfly or a moth? How are they different? Right here it says that both moths and butterflies get food from flowers. Chapter two. Butterflies. Butterflies have four wings. The wings have tiny scales. Most butterflies have scales of different bright colors. This can form patterns. The colors warn predators to stay away. The colors help other butterflies find them. Right here it says each kind of butterfly has a different wing pattern. Butterflies close their wings when they rest. They can move each wing separately. Most butterflies come out during the day. Butterflies use their antennae to smell. The antennae also help them balance. Butterfly antennae have a small round tip called a club. Butterflies have many uses for their antennae. Butterflies go through a change called metamorphosis. A caterpillar hatches from an egg. It eats and grows. Then it hatches to a plant or a wall. Its skin splits open. Underneath the skin is a chrysalis. It is a hard, smooth shell. Inside, the insect is changing. When it comes out, it is a butterfly. And over here, it says caterpillars change into butterflies while inside their chrysalises. And I love this photograph because you can see that outline of the butterfly's wing in the chrysalis, meaning it is so, so soon going to emerge from the chrysalis. Chapter three, moths. Moths have four wings, many of dull or plain colors. Moths fold their wings down on their bodies or they keep their wings open when resting. Their front wings are attached to their back wings. Right here it says moths are not usually as brightly colored as butterflies. Most moths come out at night. They have big antennae. Usually the antennae look feathery or furry. Moths need a good sense of smell in the dark. They find each other by scent. Over here, it says some moth antennae look like combs. Moths also go through metamorphosis, but their process is a bit different from butterflies. They hatch from eggs as caterpillars. The caterpillar grows, then it hangs upside down. It wraps itself in silk. This is its cocoon. Inside, it turns into a moth. So right here, it says moths make the silk they use for their cocoons. Chapter four, what's the difference? Butterflies fly during the day. Moths fly at night. Butterflies are colorful. Moths are usually plain. Butterflies have thin antennae with a club. Moths have feathery antennae. Butterflies rest with their wings together. Moths often keep their wings hey, open Jones, or folded down. Apologize for the announcement, boys and girls. Okay, so again over here, it says moths often keep their wings open or folded down. Their metamorphosis is different too, but butterflies change in a chrysalis. Moths change in a cocoon. Butterflies and moths have a lot in common. They are closely related and they are all amazing. And over here, it says some moths have bright colors, such as the Luna moth. Now, this is really amazing, boys and girls. This is a diagram of a butterfly. This is a diagram of a moth. And it's showing you the body parts 
of each one and what's similar and what's different. For example, right here, it is pointing at the butterfly's antennae and it says that there's a club on its antennae. And over here, it's saying that the moth has feathery antennae. Pointing here over at the wings, for a butterfly, the wings can move separately. For a moth, it says front wings attached to back wings. And then over here, it says a butterfly has bright colors, a moth has plain colors. And then a butterfly builds a chrysalis, comes out during the day and rests with wings together. And a moth builds a cocoon, comes out at night and rests with wings open and down. All right. That was really awesome learning about those differences between a butterfly and a moth that I did not even realize. Really, really amazing. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to be designing a painted lady butterfly. So what you are going to do, there's a few steps with this. This is page 19. You'll want to have orange, brown, and white, since those are those colors of that painted lady butterfly. You will want to also have scissors and glue. And here are the steps. Step one is color. You are going to color first. And you are using this little picture right here as your guide for coloring. So you want to do your best to get your wings and your body and your antennae to match this picture. Remember we learned about this week that the butterfly's wings are identical. So you want to make sure that whatever you do on this side, you do on this side. And you should be coloring those wings primarily orange. And then the body, it looks like it's brown. There may be a little bit of brown on the wings here too. And then the antennae look brown, okay? So step one, color. So if you want to pause this video and go color, go ahead and do that. Okay, if you are here, that means that you are done coloring or you want to see everything and then do it after, which is totally fine too. So step one is color. Step two, step two is cut. So now we are going to go ahead and cut. So we'll cut out each wing separately, going nice and slow, doing the best that we can. What's nice is you will feel that this is on cardstock, so the paper is just a little bit thicker, which I think makes it a little bit easier to cut. Okay, so you'll see right there, I have one wing cut out, my left wing. Now I'm going to cut out my right wing. Okay, there's my right wing. And now I need to cut out the body and the antennae. Again, does not need to be perfect. Just doing the best that you can to get it all cut out as nicely as possible. Here's the body. And then finally, I need to cut out the two antennae. Okay. And the two antennae you see, like we just learned about, we know that this is a butterfly because we're talking about how it's a painted lady butterfly. But we also know because we can see that at the top of their antennae, they have those little clubs that we just talked about. Okay. So how we are going to do this is we are going to end up actually gluing the wings to the backside of this body right here okay and you are going to need to have glue right now so make sure that you have glue and i'm going to show you exactly how we are going to do this okay okay so now what i'm going to ask you to do is actually flip this over so watch what i'm going to do i have this right here i'm going to ask you to flip this take your right wing and put it here Take your body and flip it over and take your left wing and put it here so that this is what it looks like on the back. You just have it on the back side, okay? And then what we are going to do is we are going to end up gluing the wings on like that. 
Now, if you have at home tape, a stapler, any of that, you could use that too. But if not, I'm going to show you how to do it with some glue. You're gonna start by putting glue right there on the body of your butterfly. And then you are going to put both of the wings on there together and line them up and then press down just so that you have the wings on there like fairly even. And this may be boys and girls where you'd want to add like a little bit of tape. Like even right now for me, I'm going to grab some tape just because I don't feel like it's super, super secure. So I'm going to grab a little bit of tape and secure the two wings together and then even secure it right there so that it will not fall off. So if you have tape at home, that would be my suggestion too. You can always start with glue and then tape it or you could just do tape. And then when you flip it back over, you will see how awesome it looks right there with our wings attached to our body. Now, the next thing that we have to do is add the antennae and we're going to do it kind of similarly where I'm going to flip it to the back and then we're going to add the antennae up here like this onto our butterfly. Okay, making sure that the club part right here, that club is at the top and then the other parts at the bottom. And this would be where to, you can either glue it and then tape. For me, I'm placing them and then I'm holding it here and then I'm just going to tape it and secure it, okay? Whatever you need to do to secure it to your butterfly. So it could be a staple if you have someone at home that can help you with the stapler. Could be tape, could be glue if that's all you have. And then when you flip it over, you're going to see that we have this beautiful butterfly, this beautiful painted lady butterfly. And then all you need to do, boys and girls, is take a picture of your completed painted lady butterfly. You can hold it up and smile with it if you want to. You can put it on a surface and take a picture of it. Whatever's easiest for you, just make sure that you submit a picture of that butterfly. All right, I hope you had fun making your painted lady butterfly and I hope you have a great day. Bye.